Shan Panda, Kipan, one and I again, and Chagayin, a lot in a labor up, which on Malabay, one with Maloy, Kerluanga, a labarer. Titana wing a liu, or I paid, me die paid, to I paid by I join a gen by. Fake, I kill a pin, be going up, we can't go by, pay you up, when you ake me. That why the some people, the Mulara kill some people. No nothing to eat, like a children. Right now in the BA, or Rumbek, or Nyamlel, or uh, every, um, my, my village. No hospital, no school. The people live, that why we here today. Southern Sudan Humanitarian began with the mission to assist and partner with the people of Southern Sudan. Our goal is to help with clean water, health care, successful agriculture, orphan care, education and family income to achieve the future they deserve. Our first uh, thing that we did is uh, we had a Sudanese man that back in his home village, Stephen Biel, his uh, family and friends got organized. There's a lot of orphans in southern Sudan because of the war, because of some of them, because of di disease, uh, you know, displacement, lost parents, separated. So they, the, the local village just took the people there, took the initiative to, hey, how can we take care of these, these orphans? So they, the, the local people, uh, took it on as, as volunteer foster families to let an orphan or, or you know, a couple of orphan, or orphans stay with them, sleep with them. And then there were a group of women that said, hey, we, we, if we fed these people, uh, fed the orphans a meal a day, then uh, since this is the families that they're staying with are just uh, on subsistence level, then it wouldn't be so much of a drain on the family. So some of the, um, uh, knew our people in, in the United States and Canada, just there were six of them that pulled $50 a month out of their pockets and got it together and sent $300 a month over to, to uh, Ethiopia, actually. Uh, Okovo was near Ethiopia, so the women would, tr somebody would go over and pick up the money in, in Gambala, Ethiopia, and bring it back, and, and uh, they would buy grain, mace, actually, and they would hand grind the mace to um, provide a, a, the main meal for the day for the orphans. So we, we had a donor here in Salt Lake that said, well, you know, I could help with that. And uh, so we, that was our first effort, was uh, feeding 58 orphans in Okovo, Sudan. The orphans, they are the future of Southern Sudan at this point, because the majority of them, they've lost their parents and uh, for them to be the future of um, Sudan, because we need to give them love and care, a school for them, and we need to make sure that they are well fed and they are well being. Um, if we don't take good care of them, who, who will? We came back and we said, hey, you know, we're helping the orphans uh, with feeding them, but, you know, we could help them with education too and, and to have uh, some kind of a future for them. So we, we hired some, some teachers, uh, just local people in the village, and paid them $100 a month, which was is good, good wages in, in Okobo, Sudan, uh, to each teacher. And uh, gradually it, it grew to where we have now about 350 students there. And we have uh, given a little bit of material, uh, money for material costs. Uh, the local people and volunteering, they build a, a school out of the traditional style. And uh, the, uh, uh, the money that we paid allows them to uh, get a metal roof 
so that the, the, the building will last longer and they build, we, we sent $3,000 over and they built a, a four-room school, school building. Uh, but uh, in, in a Kobo, there's about 8,000 uh, school-aged children and the, the government schools are just just barely, barely starting a little bit. So probably less than a thousand of the, the, the children have any kind of uh, school opportunities and about 350 of those are in uh, Southern Sudan Humanitarian School. I beg you for doing school for the children. The lie will be too short for, for all people. The children will be growing up as lie. This is what I let you know. I thank Scott Yink and I thank Leran. Uh, I think a lot of people in, uh, in South Sudan humanitarian, they do the good thing like that. Uh, this progress will be work. The, the, the orphanage being near the, the river, uh, what happens is they have a rainy season, it's very wet, and it floods all over the place, but then they have a very dry, dry season. So there's, there's a river that runs past the, the orphan uh, school, and uh, the, the county government has given them some land there. We uh, have observed that nearby there are people with, uh, with a gasoline-powered uh, generator that pump water up to uh, uh, irrigate gardens and, and, and they can produce a lot of food there. So we have a, a, an objective to, to help them with that, to, again to increase their self-reliance and we're looking at uh, getting solar panels and a pump to uh, pump the water out of the river for, to grow their own food. In uh, Nimlel where we're also working, uh, we, we went there and found that they had built 10,000, uh, formed 10,000 adobe bricks by hand, sun-dried sun bricks that they're building the schools with and uh, all volunteer labor. But it's, uh, the problem with that kind of a brick is it's, it, it dissolves in the rain. So you have to do certain things to take care of that. And, and we, we've also noticed that there were a few uh, brick-making machines with a little bit of uh, cement put in the, in the materials and makes a brick that doesn't dissolve in the rain. And so we're, we're looking to raise about $10,000 to buy a brick making machine and get that started because that would also not only expedite uh, helping them with their, their school, but they would also be able to make the bricks for, uh, for, for the neighbors who would buy it from them and it would be a profit center to help the, the school become more independent. The thing, I heard it from uh, Gordon Bilinke, say that do something before you can die for people. And, uh, why not? You know, it's, it's something we have an opportunity to do to uh, just because it's the right thing to do. For more information on helping Southern Sudan humanitarian, visit us online at sudanhelp.org.